When you visit the Peabody Museum, you see some of our most beautiful specimens on display. But did you know the Peabody has about 13 million specimens in our collections and less than one-tenth of one percent are on display? It takes a lot of work to get them ready for display. When you discover fossils in the field, they usually look like, well, rocks. Here's Peabody curatorial affiliate Sam Cherka collecting fossils from 420 million year old rocks in upstate New York. Sam is a world famous collector of sea scorpions. Sea scorpions were ocean dwellers that went extinct about 250 million years ago. They look a little like a horseshoe crab with rounded head shield and a pointy tail and swim paddles. One type of sea scorpion is a little different, a pteragoded. These were not only sea scorpions, but sea monsters. We rarely find the complete body, but we know they were giant by comparing isolated body parts to those on complete sea scorpions. Pterygotids had swim paddles, but also had long, spiny pincers. Mr. Cherka gave one of these monsters he had collected decades ago to the Peabody. It didn't look like much straight from the field, but Cherka knew the importance of his discovery. We enlisted the help of longtime Peabody curatorial affiliate Brian Roach to prep the specimens for display. Here's his process. The fossil arrived in two chunks, head and body in the top chunk, tail in the lower block. The fossil blends in with the rock, so Brian needed to do something to make the specimen pop visually. He documented preparation of the whole fossil, but we'll highlight work showing the tail block. Here he has started to remove the matrix using an air scribe, which is like a miniature jackhammer. After all the material is removed from the edges, you can see the shape of the fossil much more clearly. Then, Brian applied a thin coat of clear archival resin to seal the fossil and provide uniform color. Here the right half of the fossil has been treated. And here is the final result. Soon, we will fit the pieces together and fabricate a large metal structure to hold it upright for exhibit. It turns out that the specimen Cherka collected is over four feet long making it the largest complete sea scorpion ever discovered. Imagine that thing swimming by you in the ocean. When the Peabody Museum reopens after our full renovation, you'll be able to see it in person in the Great Hall.